Hey everybody, welcome back to day 30 of Surviving Alpha 18. It is the Horde Night now. Uh, I got a few things set up. The uh, junk, this level 3 junk turret is just kind of set up here. Or level 4 junk turret, I think, the one that we just found. I uh, filled it with ammo, it's ready to go. Uh, we're still crafting a little bit of junk turret ammo. Or actually, it might be done, looks like it is. So this one's ready to go, this one's ready to go. We got our crossbow bolt here armed with our exploding crossbow bolts. Um, we have all our ammo, we have our two AKs down here. Um, so the original one that we had um, does 67 damage, our new one does 68, but the old one has slightly higher magazine capacity, uh, six rounds more, um, which is actually a little better than the one that we had, I think. Um, so we filled all three of them up. Probably going to be using this one most of the time. As you can see, it's got the uh, uh, clip extender plus the rad remover on it. The second one's got clip extender and rad remover. Our M60 has got the uh, forward grip which um, improves stability on it. Uh, and we do have our pistol here with us as well um, with the reflex sight and the uh, recoil compensator or whatever this is. Um, so we've got that set up and uh, we've got lots of ammo. I think we'd be more than enough. We're not going to start with the AP rounds. If things get hairy, we'll switch to AP, but for the most part, we're going to stay without it. I'm going to take my bat with me just in case. We have our grenades, cocktails, um, and stuff. we got uh, crossbow bolts just in case we need them for whatever reason. And we're going to go down now. we still got 15 repair kits. I repaired most of the stuff, but uh, um, we've got our red tea on us and we also have meat stew. Um, I don't think we'll need this, but we just have it just in case the Molotovs light us on fire. So we're going to go down and put out all our spikes in our barbed wire and get ready for the night. So let's go down here. We had a bit of a wandering horde last night. We took out a bunch of the spikes. As you can see, the one in the corner that I stepped on before is gone. So I'm just going to... The wall here is just going to have the wooden ones. So we'll just drop in the ones that we're missing along here. All right, that should do that there. Now, I want to put some spikes down out front here. Um, I'm going to leave that window open so they can, I mean, if they want to get in and out, they most certainly can. Um, I'm just going to fill this up. I thought about filling it in, but uh, if for whatever reason we fall off and we need a quick way to get back up, that is certainly the way to do it. I mean, I could have put a ladder on here somewhere, but um, I just decided against it. So we got 20 left. Uh, I think we're just going to put them on this inside here, up against the wall. I don't think they're going to go for the posts. They might. Just put those in there. Um, let's use the last seven around here, I guess. Can we get one in there? We can't. Yeah, good enough. It's not perfect, but it's not meant to be. All right, so now we got the spike traps, iron ones. Let's put this around our other uh, tower over here. So I got a feeling they're not going to be trying to get up this way. But this way, if they do decide to try and attack me while I'm up in here, they will most certainly be met with a nasty surprise once they fall off. Just going to get a few of these around here. It's not anywhere near enough, I don't think, but once again, my idea is not to just uh, kill these guys with these. It's just to really slow them down. I'm going to fill up under here, right? Because we don't want them on this side, we want them on the other side. And we want to give them free, free range of motion over there. going to align here. Sure. And we might as well do along here as well. Looks like we missed a spot here with the... Uh, there we go. Okay. Now, like I said, this isn't going to do much. They're going to fall off there. They're going to break these pretty quick. But it's a good way to deal with them as fast as we can. Did we 
forget to we forgot to put uh forgot to upgrade that last one up there we're gonna have to go get some concrete and do that then we'll put the last ones along the back here Beautiful. Now we got some barbed wire. This is just to slow them down. You know, I have no idea where to put this. I'd almost want to just fill the inside of my house with it. Um. I mean, for that matter, we could just put it along here. I mean, they'll, they'll break through it eventually. I could put some in here, too. <laughs> ah, what's the point? Alright, let's go get our hammer and some concrete. Actually, you know what we should do? I don't think this will deter them from coming along here. But it might. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we're leaving a gap here anyway, but... And let's just put the last three around here. Sure. Terrible positioning, but we'll have to deal with it. All right, fine. So I upgraded a little bit in here, as you notice. And the outer walls as well. We still have, I think I've still got a little bit of um, concrete left, do I? Oh, yeah. I can't believe we missed that one block. Actually, I can. Ow. That one right there. There we go. That should dry in time. Alright, now we really don't have anything to do but wait. We're ready to go. How much concrete do I have left? 190. Let's upgrade a few more blocks in here. There we go, that's it for the concrete. Well, <sighs> upgraded as much as it's going to get, I guess. You know, worst case scenario, if they are in here, we could just come and toss shit down on them. We're high enough up, Molotovs, grenades, everything. Good to go. But we're going to be in the other fortress over there with the drawbridge up, so most likely they're not going to be making their way in here. They're going to try and find their way around to me as best they can. Oh, for Christ's sake. This is my anti-buzzard turret if I actually need to... Like, if they're up on here, while I'm down here, the buzzards, you know, will be taken out by that, hopefully. Hopefully. I don't know if it's got the range. Maybe I should move it forward a little bit. Uh, let's put the hammer in here. Uh, I thought about having the... Uh, you know, forged iron and things like that on me for tonight, but I don't think we really need it. We'll just deal with it. And we've got no power going. As much as I wanted to have power going and stuff happening, it just never ended up doing it. So, you know, next horde we'll have that for sure. So let's move this forward a little bit. Maybe put it like right here. How far is that sweeping? Yeah, not bad. I mean, if the birds decide to come down anywhere in here. Unless we take it and put it over here. Like... That, maybe. That might be a little better. It should have the range to hit them if they're up here. 
Now, all these uh, bars that are um, yellow are the ones that are forged iron, so I know which ones are forged iron and which ones are wood. Um, I don't want to get caught standing on wood bars if I can avoid it. Um, so what I did is I also pulled out the wood that was here, and I replaced it with forged iron, and put up a little barrier here, uh, so that if um, we are forced back, I can stand here and shoot and not have to worry about getting hit by cops. I'll still have a good commanding look at the area. We can step out, throw some stuff down, step back in behind here. Um, really hoping that doesn't come to that, but uh, we'll have to see how it goes. I think I'm ready. You know? I don't know. we got eight hours before the horde night. So I am going to just, like, piddle around in here. i got nothing to do. So um, we could go out and hit a building or something like that, but I think I want to just wait for the horde. Um, I might restart my machine just to make sure it's uh, all good to go, but I, I don't know if I'll need to do that. Yeah, I just, I mean, I turned all this stuff off for now. Just so we don't get a screamer on Horde Night as well. Alright, I'll see you guys on the Horde. Okay guys, welcome back. So it is a couple of hours till Horde. There's a wandering Horde walking by. We're locked up in the tower. I'm not going to bother with them. They're all going to die on Horde Night anyway. Uh, they're going to hear the gunshots. So I am in the main corridor here. Uh, we're going to be shooting down this way to start off with uh, while they wail on this door here. Once they get to a certain point and they've gotten down here um, and we've killed as much as we can, we're going to close this door and move into behind here. Uh, I've got my junk turret set up back here. It's uh, got a, a good uh, line on this door plus most of the room in there as you can see by the sweep there. Uh, the idea is if for whatever reason somebody drops down behind or something happens and somebody gets in the room we've got some defense and then when we're ready to leave if this door is failing once they break through here this door is failing then um this junk turret can cover our retreat oh well it's a good way to test it out Too bad they're wrecking it. I'm really hoping that this is, goes so smooth. Like, this is a good position to be in. And I think the idea of putting the barbed wire along here was a good idea. For the first little bit, it's really going to slow them down. We'll be able to take on the waves as they come in. Hopefully being able to one-shot them like that will be a good thing. They'll be, of course, running, but... Wow. We'll see if this goes smooth. I don't know how many zombies we're going to get. Let's have a look at our game stage. So, uh, we are game stage 105, level 41. Actually, do we, we have any extra levels? No, we don't. Next one's going into archery anyway. Or maybe hidden strike first and then archery. Like, archery is going to give us 10% more damage and faster aim, draw, and reload. Hidden strike will give us another 25%. Sneak damage. So maybe we just go we'll go archery first and then hidden strike. There's more of them out there. I'm just not going to bother. I thought there was a mo out there too. At least it sounded like them, but I guess I was wrong. All right, we're ready for this. One hour, one in-game hour that is. And then we got 15 minutes of real time, real time horde killing. Now I'm really hoping this junk turret doesn't see any. Um, zombies here. I really hope it doesn't see them and start firing. Because I don't want it to be out of ammo. Now we've got a lot of ammo. I mean, I can always reload it. And we got the exploding crossbow bolts. I can't wait to try and use those. The M60 actually does, if we have a look at it real quick, it does 50 damage magazine size of 65. Effective range 47. Not bad. So, but the AK's damage is 68. Smaller magazine size, but a larger effective range. And same thing with this one. Uh, 67, a lar little bit more uh, larger magazine size than the other AK. And um, effective range. Now, I'm going with the one with a little larger magazine size. Uh, opposed to the uh, plus one damage. Only because um, I want to spend less time reloading. And we do have, if we look at our armor, we do have a bandolier mod. So it's really helping us out. Now, in the military gloves, I put uh, armor 
the uh, level one storage pocket that we had and muffled connectors, advanced muffled connectors to make them more quiet. Uh, the noise increase on these is 10%, but we decrease 8% off that with this thing. So that's kind of handy. All right, 30, 27 minutes, 26 minutes. I'm interested to see how many cops we get, how many radiated zombies we get, where they decide to go. I mean, we're in here, those those zombies heard us, and they did come up the ramp to get us, so that's a good sign. Right, they can't get to us any other way other than trying to knock this whole damn thing down, but good luck with that. And I feel confident this door has got like, what, 7,000 health or something like that. It's got to be knocked down three, like broken through three times to get to it. And then we've got these re reinforced steel blocks. And then we have the uh, um, reinforced concrete plates on the outside on, on front of these guys, so it makes it even stronger. So I'll be, um, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't actually leave this position um, or like not have to close this door is what I mean. Like we can fire here until these are all gone. Then we'll just come around here and open up on them in front here. But I'll be surprised if we have to use this second door. Just depends on how effectively they wail on that first one. Two minutes. I don't know why I'm crouching. I think that makes it easier to aim. I can hear them running already. Here they come. Spider zombie. Seven rounds. Reloading. So I think the barbed wire is actually keeping them up on there. Five rounds. Reloading. Reloading. I just watched Big Mama fall off, so that's helping. It looks like they've got most of these spikes clear, or the uh, barbed wire cleared out. Yeah, it is seeing them. Junk Turk seeing them. All right, we got a guy at the door here. needs to be repaired.
There's the first cop. There's our first radiated. Okay, we're fighting from here now. It's the slaughter. I don't think they're falling down there at all. No idea how far through that door they are. Our ammo is dropping real fast. Come on. There's our first military guy. I wonder if they're gonna make it through. Are they in? They're in. Oh no, he faces the door. Oh, I like that. Yep, they're in. I wonder how long that door's gonna hold.
shit, cops gonna blow up. Okay, the door seems okay. Kind of. Oh shit, they're in. Unlock it. Well, that certainly went a lot faster than I thought it was going to go. Where do my AKs go? Where did my other AK go? What the hell happened? Is that it? Did the cops blow up and kill them all? Wow. That could be it, guys. They uh, busted that door really fast. I don't know how they broke the uh, the drawbridge. Still got some flyers up here. I wonder if this junk turret back here got a few of them. I couldn't have because we were too we were too uh, we were too far away. Well, I can certainly sweep them now. So that's got to be cop damage. Same as up here. Well, I think that's it. See what loot we got here. He says and then gets attacked by a dozen birds. God. Didn't think they were going to come down. Ooh, a lot of bags in here. Wow, we almost used up all of our regular ammo. Chainsaw. The one thing I should I never did use, and I probably should have, was the exploding crossbow bolts. But these rounds were like firing into them was doing so well. I just I didn't think I needed them. But they certainly made short work of that second door. Another chainsaw. Um I don't know how I guess because they're they were all in that narrow corridor they were all stacked against the one door rather than bumping back and forth against the walls um, where when they were outside they weren't always hitting the door they were hitting the sides as well maybe I don't know getting a lot of junk here and nothing over here let's go up the ramp see if there's anything up there so no damage on the stairs, which is good, which means like almost no repairs. I think the barbed wire was in a good spot. Another bag out here. So they just were focusing just on the door. They didn't hit any of this stuff out here. Or these, like they didn't even like do anything. I think this is probably mostly for me. And I wonder if the, there was a cop and I think he blew up in here. I wonder if that caused a lot. Like, I mean, it was just the doors. So if I double door these outside and then one on this side facing this way, so two doors, and then the same thing here, one on the, like on this block here, and then one on this block here, four doors, right? And then of course now 
they I mean they did some damage to the walls and stuff which can easily be repaired hopefully we find a crucible upgrade that to steel and I think we're golden like they didn't even break the bars the cops didn't even break these bars here they broke my drawbridge though which is a shame the junk turret actually firing at them? I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Because we didn't have it when we needed it to uh, fight these guys. And l I mean, if I put it over here, it's going to do the same thing. I don't know. I mean, it did a little bit of damage. We really didn't get much out of this, did we? Except for a black eye from that thing. Where the hell is it? Let's do this. Save our 762. Uh, where's our pistol? Oh. Where is he? Yeah, see, even cages like this are useless. I hear ya. Come on, ass monkey, get over here. Where are you? Oh, come on, where the hell are you? You're gonna make me come out and get you, aren't you? Okay, come and get your hit on me. Or not. Yeah, I don't think they... I mean, I don't think a lot of them fell off there. I don't have my axe on me to get these. Well, that's it for the Horde Knight. That actually went pretty smoothly. We killed most of them, like, in the first half of the night. That's, um... Pretty damn good. None of, they didn't really come over here which is a good thing. They avoided this base, which is what they're supposed to do. Yeah. So that's it, guys. We're going to end the episode there. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, looks like these bars took a bunch of damage, too, so I have to upgrade them to iron. Base took a few hits. Mostly from cops, I guess. It must have been... The cops must have blown up and killed them. Like, it's the only thing I can think of. But there was only a handful left, really. Anyway. Alright, ending episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, episode 31, or day 31, is just going to be me cleaning them after the horde. So there won't be an episode for that. But day 32 will be back. Um, probably doing repairs on the base. Um, getting more stuff up and running. Um, try, we got to try to find another M60 before the next uh, battle because even though it didn't do a whole lot, um, we didn't use it a whole lot, the actual increased rate of fire is definitely not what we need for that door. So if we can get one of these guys with a drum magazine, um, yeah, I think that's the way to go. So we have to find one or get a schematic. Um, all right, so I'm going to end the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop it a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.